Welcome back to the second and final part of our little mini-series looking at French nymphing in detail. So without further ado, uh, let's jump in and cover French nymphing 101, how a system can help you, part two. First of all, a warning, <laughs> you know, hands up. This isn't going to be for everybody. So if, for instance, uh, you haven't got anything at all useful out of the previous email lessons, or indeed the previous uh, seminar with the, the Five Pillars of Nymphing webinar. And if you aren't going to put these tactics into action, you're not actually going to pick these things up and take action on them and use them, then you know there's, there's no way that this can be useful to you, so it definitely won't work. And finally, if at the end of this uh, session, because we've put together a special time-limited offer for you, if a fishing business making that offer to you is kind of in any way offensive to you, then you know this seminar isn't going to be for you. The content leading up to it that explains about how the system all fits together and what it sort of uh, the benefits of taking a French nymphing approach are. Um, Again, you're better not just sitting through that stuff because um, you know you're going to get uh, pissed off at the end essentially. So, in summary, it's best to tune out now. Uh, it's absolutely no problem, no harm, no foul. We can still be friends. That's not an issue at all. Uh, but if all of the above is is all good with you, um, and you'd like to know which out of the five pillars is the single most important one, then we can get started and sort of dig into that right now. Where we got to last time, this is where we were up to. We sort of brought it up to the point where a bit of a breakthrough, realizing that as good and as useful and, and as plug and play as those five individual pillars are, when you put them together, it comes together as something that's greater than just the sum of those individual parts. Um, so yeah, in summary, you have to have a system. You gotta have a system. Now, that's not to say that once you've got to that point, or once you've picked up those tactics and they're working for you, that everything is plain sailing. And I'm here to tell you that, you know, as much as anybody, I've been out there and been filled with confidence and sort of, you know, picked up a great new tactic from a magazine or something, been dying to try it, feel like I've understood it all. And then you start looking at it and what whatever made sense on paper or at first glance suddenly gets very very confusing and very difficult when you try and put it into action and so much so that you know you, you can pick up this technique and you can take it on stream and all of a sudden you know a little condition might be slightly different than what it said in the book or you know there's just something where the reality of you t taking that technique being faced with uh, an actual fishing situation can feel like a complete maze and it's really really confusing super super frustrating and i'm, I'm here to tell you that i've definitely <laughs> i can empathize with that i've been there multiple times and i will certainly be there again in the future and it reminded me a little bit of uh, a quote from uh, <laughs> the boy mike tyson which is uh, he says that everybody's got a plan right up until they get punched in the face. And, and certainly with fishing, it can really feel like that. Um, you know, the fish can be really unforgiving when, you know, there might be just one tiny little element that's not quite right. Um, but because of that, the whole thing, you know, doesn't work. And it does turn into a very frustrating situation. And so, yeah, I've, I've definitely done the hard yards. And as I say, I will certainly be in a situation again where, I, you know, I'm coming home with the, the dry net, you know, the dreaded dry net that as, as anglers, we try and avoid wherever possible. Uh, I think, I guess the one difference I would say these days is that it probably happens a little bit less frequently, I, I would say. Um, but also when it does, I've got a much better chance of understanding um, whether it's, just me that's likely to have struggled that day or whether everyone would have struggled because you just have that greater understanding and things are a bit clearer to you and your expectations are easier to set once you have that that deeper understanding of the whole thing um but in order to actually explain how sort of moved from that situation of you know often being frustrated often really struggling and being a bit overwhelmed with the, the fishing challenges that are put in front of me, particularly with nymphing as I was sort of developing that aspect of my game. It really was just a long, slow, painful sometimes process of observing and modeling people that had more and different knowledge than myself. So for instance, we've got Stuart Crofts here, fantastic angler, 
passionate as as all hell and and you know just full of really great stories but also incredibly generous with his knowledge um about fishing and, and his experiences um being in an, you know as an international multi-capped um uh world sort of stage uh, angler in in the uh, the rivers uh, sort of competitions um around the world particularly through the sort of late 90s early 2000s that sort of period um not only Stuart, you know i've uh, spent plenty of money with uh, people like john tyzak in uh, you know previous years uh, getting coaching from him watching him fishing analyzing what he's doing getting advice from him as well um again probably uh, the uk's most, sex- most successful um rivers comp angler i think six times national champion something like that uh, another sort of uh, you know well of, of information to draw on and yeah, you might laugh at um, my, my nice certificate, particularly with the uh, the Gaskell Paul, which has got an interesting um, <laughs> reversal of the name on the, on my Czech nymphing certificate from uh, Yoshe uh, Klima. Um, but all joking aside, you know, I am dead. I'm genuinely stoked with that that certificate. But at the same time, the more valuable thing was being able to spend sort of uh, around a week, like observing um, Yoshi's fishing, um, and also getting some one-to-one coaching with him, and really, yeah, having that opportunity to observe and model the people with, you know, that with that had nailed a lot of these techniques and these, the, you know, sort of the, the ground, um, the groundwork behind the, the way that these things work. Um, and as well, and another sort of uh, gold medal winning uh, Czech team member um, in Jan Schumann, uh, another example of, you know, been several times um, to get coaching and, and uh, also to, to spend time with Jan fishing some of his rivers over there as well. Not only that, um, the, the sort of, almost second-hand knowledge from people like Stuart when they've been able to fish alongside people like the guy on the front cover of, uh, of this book here is, and I'll, I will mangle his name, so apologies in advance, particularly if you, uh, <laughs> if you do speak the language, but uh, Tomasz uh, Starich Foytu is uh, a, just an, a phenomenal, phenomenal angler. Uh, and Stuart Cross has told me some, some fantastic experiences and stories that he's had where encountering Tomash on stream and, and him really breaking down the philosophies of what he's doing, how he's tackling a pool, um, and his ability to essentially catch all of the viable pi- fish. <laughs> viable fish? <laughs> all of the viable fish within a particular pool uh, and for him that's normally all of the fish in the pool um, so yeah just again drawing on that knowledge um, applying it teasing it out and trying it out for, for myself and, and sort of making progress gradually as well as that uh, there's the sort of the technical information and people being generous uh, enough to kind of share that and coach me in that uh, I've spent you know a lot of time pouring over uh, videos of, of people, including Pascal Cognac, um, for example, as just shown um, as one, you know, very good example uh, in this this slide. And and it's a case of you know really again looking at those people that can really really do it um, and analysing what they're doing with you know with a, a sort of a coach's or a super analytical eye. Um, and again, essentially, the, the long story short version of this is that. You know, it involves a very jagged, quite a painstaking pro- progress line, um, and I think as well one of the one of the key um, step changes I think in my understanding was taking this sort of observed and modelled angling knowledge, and actually combining that with what I know about behavioural ecology. So sort of m- melding some of my scientific uh, background and training and information with what I'm seeing these top level anglers on stream doing. So getting to the mechanics behind how this all works as well. And I'll, I'll pick up on that um, again very shortly. But I think that that sort of, you know, it certainly helped steepen that still jagged um, and quite painstaking progress line. Which brings me to the one, <laughs> one pillar to rule them all, which do I feel is the most important out of all of those five previous individual pillar lessons that, uh, that we touched on? Well, for me, it is, it's a clear winner in the actual, the mindset that you bring to this. It's getting, you know, make, causing yourself and giving yourself that curiosity and maintaining it in the face of difficulty as well. That's, that is absolutely crucial. So instead of getting angry and frustrated, 
having the presence of mind to think, well, why did that not work? Or why isn't, you know, isn't the res why isn't the result what I've expected given what I know and what I've learned previously? So asking why and being genuinely curious to know the answer, that really helps to, to get over any of that frustration that we've talked about. Again, by being curious, that in itself doesn't pay off unless you put it into action. If you, if you keep taking action on that curiosity, you, you can't help but improve. So that, that's why I think this is the most important thing out of all of the, the stuff that we've discussed so far. So this is the breakthrough epiphany, if you like. Um, I can sort of uh, analyze it a bit and, and sort of split it out into a few different elements for you. So you could to help you on, on your own progress sort of journey as well. So there is definitely this time spent fishing, the flying hours. It's incredibly important. There's no getting away from it. Um, and using that sort of modeling and practicing of people that are already doing the things that you want to, to do for yourself. Plus, in combination with that, Mixing that with that mechanistic understanding, the behavioral biology understanding of why those things that the successful anglers are doing actually work from the fish's point of view and bringing those two things together. And I think it was the combination of those two things for sure that really have led to that much more consistent and predictable and enjoyable success and me being able to solve a lot more problems on stream um, by, by combining those two elements. Um, so that's definitely a huge stepping stone. The next level up from that, that I found in my own progress was having to translate that information and that knowledge and those practices into a form that can be passed on to other anglers. So I forget, I think it's attributed to Einstein, but the quote is something like, you know, if you can't explain it to an 11 year old, you probably haven't understood it yourself. And that is certainly, certainly true of going through these really quite complex um, processes to try and understand the things at a base level, but then sifting through all that complexity and boiling it down into something that's absolutely crystal clear and dead simple. And that's not a one way process. It, yes, that's helpful because it proves that other people can actually use that knowledge that you've gained because you've been able to simplify it and deliver it, deliver it clearly. But at the same time, by doing that, forcing yourself to analyze it to that level, it really, really reinforces your own ability and your own success on stream as well, because it forces you to understand just what's important and what is actually expendable. Um, so that's, I would say this is a, a great insight into what I've found to work really, really well for myself. So that actually forcing, you know, into that situation where you're actually passing on that knowledge to other people it then sort of stress tests all of that stuff, the, the time spent fishing and testing things and failing at some things and keeping the stuff that works. Um, yeah, th that whole process has been really, really important for my own personal development. And in fact, it allows me to <laughs> bring out daft slides like this, which actually it kind of hides a serious point. Um, but you can, if you want to, boil down all of fly fishing to really two points. And, and what you're trying to do is to trigger off some sort of inherent feeding reflex in the fish um, using an artificial fly while at the same time without causing it and triggering it to actually flee and, and run for cover. And that, that sounds stupidly simplistic, but at its heart, that is exactly what we're trying to do. There is nothing else to fly fishing other than this. And just because you can boil it down to those two things, it doesn't make those two things any easier to actually achieve because it can be phenomenally difficult under you know particular conditions. Um, but at the same time, having done that, I've realized that the vast, vast majority of information that you can find about fly fishing concentrates on this top uh, point here. This, this triggering of a feeding reflex is, is the sort of the sexy stuff that most people concentrate on when they're writing about it. A lot less practical guidance is given to actually explaining how you actually get a fish, a, a fish to see your fly. You actually deliver that fly to the fish in the first place without first scaring the shit out of it. So that, it, you know, nobody's ever caught a spooked trout in the history of fishing. Um, so that, you know, those two things are absolutely key. 
I, my personal um, feeling is that the the avoidance of spooking those fish and the tactics and the practical stepwise kind of tools that you can use to achieve that are shockingly underrepresented in the stuff that you can see in um, trout fishing and fly fishing um, information and, and publications to date. So that brings us round to the fifth of the pillars that we talked about, which is the kind of fundamentals of this, the French nymphing technique. And what I've subtitled this slide as is this stealthy triggering ability that it gives you. And I've highlighted the stealth aspect of it. And in that fundamentals lesson, you can see from the kind of the triangular arrangement um, of the casting line, the, the delivery system, if you will, which you'll certainly pick up on, uh, you know, time and time again, the means of delivering that fly to the fish is held completely off the water, ideally, or maybe there's a very small part of it laid on, you know, and anchored on the surface in certain situations as well. But it, that, that ability to hold that delivery system off the water and that separation that it gives you between the target fish and yourself as the angler, that delivers that ability to um, create stealth and, and to avoid spooking the fish that you're trying to catch. At the same time, the triggering element comes in with these simple impressionistic and, and deeply practical and mechanistic flies um, they, they are impressionistic, they're not close copy, but they trigger that feeding reflex that we were talking about. And in some cases, we can exaggerate some features that actually enhance and, and amplify that, that triggering, the feeding, uh, the triggered feeding effect that you get as well. So these two elements come together really, really neatly within French nymphing. Um, that makes it a fantastic tactic for to meet you know meeting the needs that the uh, that we've we've highlighted as the most important things to uh, to have in your fly fishing. So yes, as I mentioned, it's a kind of a perfect delivery system for each of the five pillars that we've spoken about already. So it gives you with an enhanced ability to create those straight line drifts because the weight of that casting line, the leader, is much less than regular fly line. That makes it much easier to create those straight line drifts because you've not got so much sag actually pulling your flies back across the current towards you. It's also an excellent way of being able to achieve that um, rapid presentation where you're able to show the fly to the fish before the fish ever sees you or any other part of the delivery system that you're using. You know, the French leader and the, and the long flexible rod are absolutely fantastic for that. So yeah, the fish stay where they ought to be, uh, which is waiting for your nymph to swim straight into its mouth, essentially. <laughs> Again, reading the water, uh, you've got that element and th what, the, what the, um, the strength of the French nymphing system is, is it allows you pretty much laser pre precision to deliver those flies directly into those hot zones that you identify on stream. So it's a real perfect partner for um, honing and also getting the benefits from a really strong uh, reading the river, reading the water game. Um, on top of that, it gives you plenty of license to stay curious and to experiment a lot. You get very fast response, yes or no responses from the fish using this system. And because you're limiting the chances of spooking the fish, even if you get the wrong fly, you'll get another go at it. You get to make another experiment, even if the fly isn't the right one or the presentation isn't quite right for whatever reason. Um, that's not quite as true when you're fishing with fly line methods that lay heavy line on the surface. Uh, whether it's the zipping off when you sort of try and set the hook uh, and all the slosh that you get from, uh, from your line lifting off the water, or simply just that heavy line either splashing down on the water or drifting over the heads of fish, you pretty much get one real good shot, for example, in most dry fly fishing. Um, with fly line on the water. Of course, there are exceptions. You know, it's very difficult to say always and never in fly fishing. Um, but I would say a particular strength in French nymphing is it gives you really, really good opportunities for experimenting and keeping ringing the changes without necessarily spooking the fish. Uh, so it's a really fantastic partner for that as well. And again, 
it comes back again to being able to hone these fundamentals and that need to actually model good practices that are going to help you rather than inadvertently practicing things that are going to slow down your progress as well. And it, it's that element that I'm going to turn to next, particularly within the uh, sphere of uh, video analysis and how powerful that is in developing that, um, that ability to model good practice. And that includes things like things that are incredibly difficult to express in writing, like the timing and the rhythm of either casting or manipulation techniques or, or any aspect of this, you know, um, uh, fly fishing in general. It relies a lot on, on things that happen through time and that can be extremely difficult to capture in, in words and in diagrams. Good form. Okay, you can get great uh, illustrations that help you with that, but there's nothing quite like seeing that in motion and applied to real situations as well. So giving you the right sort of posture and stances and the way to use your body and that biomechanical advantage um, to gain the most benefit on stream. Fly construction, i.e. showing the building of a fly and explaining what you're doing at the same time. That's not only for people who fly, who tie their flies. Um, it's also really one of the only ways you can build up the anatomy and understand the design elements of a fly pattern, what makes an effective fly pattern uh, actually work. So it's the, even if you outsource all of your tying to somebody else, you get a far better understanding of what is what these patterns are actually about, what makes them work and how they are best suited to particular techniques when you've got someone who knows what the design elements are and explain them as they go through the construction. So you get the thinking behind it as well as the actual end result of it. And, and that'll really deepen your um, understanding of fishing with those flies as well, whether or not you're a fly tire. Strike detection again, uh, you get lots of nice idealised diagrams which are helpful in their own way, but it only takes you so far. Being able to watch things, again, those real life scenarios on video, one of the most powerful learning tools that we've got uh, and not to be underestimated at all. This is a key one for me. With certain kinds of video, at least, you have the opportunity to compare and contrast the, the absolute ideal application of a technique with something that's almost right, but not quite. Because at first sight, those two things can look nearly identical. And in fact, when you pick up things from magazines, from books, um, you can be on stream and you can think and feel that you're actually applying that technique perfectly. But somebody standing from a third person perspective could probably point out 20 ways that it's not quite doing what you think it ought to be doing or, or you know you're not quite achieving the correct application of that technique and again most videos i would say on the market don't go into that aspect of it um, they just show you the right way and they don't give you the pointers and the the real fine detail of what not to do which is in most cases is far more important than knowing what to try and do is ironing out those mistakes that actually drag down your results as well. And video really comes to the fore there. So with that in mind, I'd like to, with your permission, actually show you some of the stuff that we've put together that actually delivers these uh, advantages that we've talked about on this slide. And this was the French Nymphing 101 DVD. We launched it um, at the British Fly Fair International as a DVD, um, as a physical uh, disc product. And within that uh, production, we outline and demonstrate why you must start with the classic fly line style of nymphing, um, which seems a bit weird for a French Nymphing DVD, right? And so we go into some detail and actually showing you how to uh, get pretty good at that style of fishing, including the rigs and the tactics. And again, this seems quite strange, but if you just park that thought for a second, we even go into short lining in the check, check nymphing style um, and how and why to go about that as a nymphing uh, practice as well, which again, seems odd if you're including it within something that's specifically about French nymphing. Well, the reason we do that is that without having that mechanistic understanding and that real gut appreciation of what the classic upstream nymphing and the short line competition style check nymphing give you, 
if, if you don't have a grasp on that, you can't really appreciate the advantages and the benefits and how to get the best out of the French leader. In fact, there's, there are things that will hold you back. If you can't do certain things within uh, classic nymphing and Czech nymphing, tying on a French leader and a French nymph or a team of French nymphs isn't going to improve your results any because you're still got those problems that you carried over from that misunderstanding right from the, the fundamental uh, building blocks of those techniques. So that's why we, we structured the DVD uh, to include those elements as well, to make sure that you absolutely build everything up solidly and then you really appreciate and are able to gain the benefits from fishing with the French leader. And of course, because we're showing this in video form in, um, in a, you know, real applications on the river, you get that opportunity to do that modeling that I talked about at the beginning of the presentation, where, you know, I've had to go and do an awful lot of traveling to try and actually piece together those key sort of uh, elements of the, the posture and the biomechanics that you want to put in practice as well. And it gives you all that timing, the rhythm as well to, to watch on screen. Part of that, and one of the things about showing this um, comparison between ideal and um, sort of uh, almost right, is using and including an app, a genuine um, coaching session with a, with a real flesh and blood client um, in the shape of the intrepid Susan, who is a, an accomplished fly fisher in her own right, uh, but was interested in taking her first steps in French nymphing on rivers and expanding her repertoire. So I'm deeply, deeply grateful for uh, Susan actually throwing herself right into that and <laughs> allowing herself uh, to be filmed as those kind of you know first steps were being uh, being taken under the you know the, the tuition that uh, were delivered in, in in Italy. On top of the coaching aspect of it, the fly tying and design uh, section. It gives you some little known, super simple and really effective flies. So, you know, that, that's uh, almost a given, you'd expect that, but it's the design aspect that I'm really keen for you to kind of uh, absorb within that as well. So it's not only the three prov proven patterns, which is important, it's why and how they work. So I'm talking about that mechanistic um, explanation that I touched on earlier to give you that um, fishing, um, sort of currency, the fishing benefits of the fly patterns. So even if you don't tie flies, you know, watching that and understanding the thinking behind it is super important as well. So your offer today is the French Nymphing 101 DVD, but it's in a downloadable or a streamable format uh, within your own private um, tuition website area. And the important thing about the HD version of this that you can download is that I think there's about six times the amount of data on the screen on an HD download compared to the compression that you have to use for a DVD. So it's higher quality. And in this format, I, I would su suggest it's far more uh, convenient than, uh, than a DVD disc format because you can watch this wherever you are. You can download it to your device, what, your device and watch it on the go, or you can stream it if you've got an internet connection within that. And then these are these other bits as well, which I'll pick up on in a second. So you, the HD download, it's stream on demand, and that uh, is basically the same sort of value as the DVD itself, which uh, is a, a, a price of $29.99. Spoken elsewhere about the reasons that we, we price in dollars, it's because we sell to an international audience and dollars are pretty recognizable wherever you go. Um, there are also within this bundle and within your private sort of learning uh, environment is some time limited free bonuses. They include an extra pattern, a sort of a secret weapon <laughs> fly, uh, that's included uh, as an additional 16 minute tying and design and sort of technical chat uh, sequence as well. Um, and that has a, vo a value of about $10. There's also some close up not tying demonstration videos as well. And this is to me, the one of the reasons I wanted to include this uh, in the tuition area is the uh, French Nymphing DVDs that I've watched, some of them, or the, the ones I'm most familiar with at least, they tend to demonstrate knots that can actually halve the breaking strain of your tippet. So we've basically shown the knots that retain most, if not all, of the strength of your tippet. So if you're not using knots that halve the strength, 
by choosing the correct ones, you're essentially fishing with tippet that's double the strength that you would be otherwise. Um, so in other words, if you're fishing with four pound line and using bad knots, that system will break it to under two pounds of pressure. Uh, whereas if you get the full four pounds worth out of that, then, you know, obviously there's, there's a strength benefit there, but there's a secondary benefit because it means you're able to fish finer tippet for the same amount of strength. And that lets you use lighter flies and yet still have those flies sink to just the same depth as you would do uh, with a thicker tippet that you'd need heavier flies to gain that depth. So simple, but but really powerful sort of benefits within the uh, the demonstrations that are included there. Uh, again, at a value of uh, $7. The thing here, I've probably underpriced this, but this thing um, uh, is where there's some real benefit. What it does, it allows you to get additional or the full benefit out of the original DVD because it does a kind of a play-by-play -play analysis of footage, really highlighting and um, bringing into sharp focus some of the ways that both myself, so I don't exclude myself from this process, I, I analyze uh, my performance within the DVD as well, and the, the stuff that Susan's doing really well and also areas where Susan can improve within the coaching um, section of the main DVD. So this really unlocks a huge amount of existing value that would be otherwise invisible to you just by watching it sort of on a surface level. Um, so I'm really, really pleased that we're able to include that. And that comes in in some of these drop down menus um, within the uh, the teaching area of, of the uh, private membership site, which is the way that we're delivering this particular offer. So you top those up and it comes to a value of $66.99. But if you get in within the time limited uh, period of the offer, you can get the whole lot for the price of the HD download and the stream on demand product, which is the $29.99 price tag. So you just pay that for everything right up until the point where the timer hits zero. Um, and then at that point, when the timer expires, what happens is you can still get the main feature that will still be available it'll still be available at that price but the additional areas like the multiple entries in these drop down menus like the secret weapon soft tackle um, tying sequence uh, the coaching the other bonuses that i spoke about plus some surprise rolling bonus content that we'll just keep adding to over time with sort of trip diary type um, videos and little tips and tricks and discussion points um, and, and indeed all of the areas that we can then discuss in the comments underneath these sections as well. That will disappear when the, the timer uh, hits zero and you'll just be uh, able to access the main um, features. Now, the reason that we do that is because obviously, okay, what we want you to do is to click now and enter details and get it straight away. Clearly as uh, an information uh, business, we rely on that revenue to do that. Um, at the same time, if we don't, we want to we want to set you up for success as well because our tuition is greatly devalued if people aren't picking it up and using it and then saying nice things about it to other people. So we want you to improve your fishing on stream. You can't do that if you don't take action and apply the stuff that's within it. So of course there is a benefit to us by you buying it, we rely on that. We wouldn't exist without that. But at the same time, what I want you to do is I understand that uh, modern life is so busy, it's really easy to get distracted and for other things to intervene with, you know, the boring process of actually buying this stuff. So we want to just, you know, give you every opportunity to, to get in and get the benefits that are present within this package. So, you know, I heartily advise you to, uh, before the time it gets uh, to zero, and, and in fact, the best time is now, just click through wherever you're watching this on the uh, on the link and that will take you to the checkout page. You can lock in your bonuses now and then start enjoying and using that content right now because you don't have to wait for any delivery. You just get your own private login details. You can jump into the site, start using it and start asking questions. So I really look forward to seeing you on the inside on the members area in the French Nymphing 101 membership site.